Hi everyone, welcome back to I Dream of Indie. Old Gamer Joe here with you for another review. We're looking at Octona on the PlayStation 4. This one will also be coming to the Nintendo Switch and the Xbox One as of June 24th, 2020. It is an action shoot 'em up side scrolling arcade style game that comes from developer Joseph Calibro and publisher East Asia Soft. Octonaut has you playing as a tiny cute little octopus who is tasked with stopping an alien invasion. You'll do this by collecting a variety of different weapons across the game's eight different levels including darts and lasers, or even my personal favorite, a shotgun blast. Controls in Octonaut are really simple, you can shoot with the X button, you can dodge out of the way by moving into the background in this game and then kind of looping around obstacles which you'll have to do later on in certain levels. And then assuming you have collected another weapon, you can switch to that weapon by pushing the square button. That's really all there is to it. There is a meter attached to your dodge mechanic, so you're not able to spam away at it. You will have to wait for it to recharge in order to perform another dodge. There are also diamonds to collect in this game which contribute to your high score, and interestingly, shooting them will change their color. If you're able to blast them a few times and get them to the purple color, you'll collect the most points. I found that to be a neat little feature that high score chasers might appreciate. On your first normal playthrough, you'll have a thousand as the game refers to shield in this game, which is really just HP, and you'll also have three lives, though you can collect more as you go. Different enemies will deal out different amounts of damage, you'll also have to worry about boss characters at the end of each level, which are really good at dealing out damage, and you also have to worry about cliffs and rocks that can come across your path. Overall, this is pretty standard fare in terms of gameplay as far as arcade shoot-em-ups go, and you'll feel pretty comfortable so long as you're familiar with the genre. Octonaut is not a very challenging game, at least on your first playthrough. I was able to blow through every level in one sitting, and I only died in the last level a few times, which is a decent difficulty spike, but still pretty manageable. However, fear not, because you will unlock a brutally difficult panic mode, which allows for you to only take two hits of damage. You'll start with a shield. Once you lose that shield, one more hit and it's over. Outside of the panic mode, you also have a custom mode in this game, which allows you to tweak the experience to more of what you want. For example, you can change the speed of the game, the amount of shield you start with, or even the amount of lives that you'll begin the game with. I always think giving players options is a great thing, and Octonaut does a pretty good job of that. Whichever mode you end up playing, I found that Octonaut was a responsive and fun experience in terms of its gameplay mechanics. I do hear comments here or there that people are tired of the 16-bit art style in their games, but I never get tired of this look, and Octonaut is a really good example of how to do it right. This is a colorful, cute, and charming looking game. All of the characters have fun personality to them. The environments are all unique from one another. Each level looks different enough from the next, so that kept things exciting, and all of the boss encounters are really enjoyable to watch unfold. Explosions and animations were all entertaining and enjoyable to watch. I really do like the art of this game. Sorry for you folks out there there that are getting a little tired of 16-bit looking games, but I'm still in love with this style. As for the soundtrack of Octona, it's not half bad. It's not my favorite 16-bit style soundtrack, but it's okay. There's some decent memorable tracks, including the main theme, which I enjoyed, and they'll play on that theme a few different times throughout the game, but some of the levels had tracks that were just kind of background noise. Sound effects were crunchy and satisfying and reminiscent of what you would hear in an old school arcade shoot 'em up. Overall, I enjoyed the graphics quite a bit and I thought the soundtrack was halfway decent and the sound effects were pretty good. Octonaut is a fun arcade style shoot 'em up. It doesn't break any new ground, but that doesn't make it less fun. It is challenging if you wish it to be, but it can be a pretty casual experience as well, which I really like about it. With some really solid gameplay mechanics, a cute 16 bit style graphical look, and a solid throwback soundtrack, Octonaut's a pretty fun game. I recommend this one. I do kind of wish it were two player so that I could have played it with a partner, but overall, a small complaint. And also, I do wish there were leaderboards that were actual leaderboards that connected online. Line, but in the end, this is an adorable and fun shoot 'em up that can be enjoyed by almost anyone. So, what do you think of Octonaut? Let us know in the comments below. And if you've enjoyed our review today, please do consider hitting the subscribe button. We also have a ton of other ways that you can support I Dream of Indie in the description box below. However, you end up supporting us, thank you so much for doing so.